Hey guys, it's Richard here. Today I'm at the newest library here at the University of Toronto to give you guys a tour. Uh, the new library is called the Roberts Commons Library. It's built right beside the original Roberts Library. Uh, as you guys can see, the library is almost done, but I think uh, there is still some construction going on to finish the last bit of the library. Now, before we go in, I just wanted to let you guys know that I won't be able to speak that much inside of the library because there's still some students studying for their finals at the moment. So thank you so much for your understanding, but let's get right into the tour now. So now we're inside of the new library. As you guys can see, the library is mostly made out of wood, which is very different from the Roberts Library. The Roberts Library gives off more of the, you know, construction, industrial vibe, whereas this library gives off more of like natural, like woody vibes. So I really like that. But um, yeah, it's, it's really clean. And I think it's a little bit more high tech than our original library. Uh, as you can see right here, this library is consisted of five floors. Uh, we're currently on the second floor. The fun fact about all these floors is that it's connected straight to the original Roberts Library. So if you ever get bored studying at this library, you guys can just take the uh, take like this little corridor into the, uh, the main library. So I think that's pretty unique. All the floors pretty much look the same. They all start with these like big stairs slash like study spot they have like these cool looking chairs here as well you can just <laughs> sit on like this but yeah I'll, I'll show you guys what it looks like on the stairs so yeah as you guys can see we can go up these wooden stairs there are about like eight chairs on each row which makes around 56 chairs i think just in the stairs so there are quite a lot of room for you to study and if you're not a fan of these you know stairs you can also find a cushion beside each stair so you can just sit on these cushions and just study or whatever which is good because it gives you more freedom to study wherever you like so i think that's very different from the original roberts library because in the roberts library you can only sit on the desk to study but here there's so many options So as you can see, we can take the elevator to pretty much all the floors. But well, we're going to the fifth floor because that's the highest floor of the Roberts Library. I mean, the Roberts Commons Library. So yeah, I'll show you guys around. Fifth floor. Going down. The view on the fifth floor is a little bit better than any other floors just because it's like higher. But um, yeah, it's, it's the same view like the kinesiology building. But now let's try to go to the main study space. So here we're at the main study spaces. This is like your typical library desks with typical library chairs. Again, there's around 10 seats per desk. And yeah, it's like, I, don't, I think it can fit around like 200, 150 people on each floor. So a very nice study spot. It's not too cold, not too hot. The humidity is nice. And um, there are chargers on each seat. So you'll be able to charge your phone, laptop, your headphones all uh, on this library. Now I'm gonna show you guys what the study room looks like. So a study room is basically a private room that you can book with your friends uh, to just study or have like a group discussion if you need more privacy or if you just like, you know, being in a room better. Uh, the study room comes with a TV and a very high tech uh, speaker. You can turn on the TV and turn off the TV, turn on the speaker using all these dials right here. Yeah, I don't want to touch it because I don't want to mess it up, but they're there for you to just control the TV and whatnot. But you can book these rooms uh, using the uTorono website. Uh, there's certain time slots that you can book with your friends to come, but luckily right now I found an empty room. And also in each room there are HDMI cords, USB charger, and 
obviously an outlet for you to charge your laptop and your phone which is amazing and here you can control the room temperature as well which i think is really good because one time i was here and the library itself was really hot so i had to come into these like one of the rooms and bring down the temperature uh yeah it says right here welcome to rose comment there are some areas that are uh, a little bit hot or a little bit too cold so in those cases it'll be really good to come into these rooms and control your temperature on your own if for some reason you guys run out of the outlet there are more uh, outlets on the walls as well so if you're here with a big group uh, don't worry there are more outlets than just the ones on the table so yeah that's pretty much it about the study rooms here uh, I'll show you guys more around the back corners because there are different study rooms uh, that I want to show you guys so let's get right into it so right here um, before, before we look at more study rooms I just want to show you guys the little corridor that leads to the Roberts library I'll take you guys right through. So this little corridor takes you right into the main library, which is the Roberts Library. So yeah, it leads right to the main library. But yeah, if you guys want to know more about the main library, make sure to go check out this video right here. I don't know if it's this or this, but there's going to be a video right here for you guys to uh, check out. That's the old library tour that I did of the main library. But yeah, let's continue with the new library tour. So right now we're at more of like the chill lounge of the library. Uh, this part of the library comes with this unique looking couch that you can just sit on and just lay down whatever you want like to do and it gives you like a different view of Toronto as well and yeah right beside it is I think more of like the typical Roberts uh, main library looking study places where you can sit with your friends or by yourself to study in these like boxed corner I think uh, a lot of students actually prefer to be in these like boxes so that there's no more distractions so yeah you can you can find a lot of options in this library for you to study so now i think i showed you guys pretty much everything about this new library as i mentioned earlier each floor looks pretty much identical so if you know one floor you pretty much know every other floor so yeah here's my final thought on this new library so the good thing about the new library is that there are a lot of options for you to choose and study at uh, for example the main Robert's library only comes with this kind of looking like box square uh, study spaces while here they give you a lot of options for you to study such as the open space uh, the stairs the cushions or the couch or the uh, study rooms so yeah i think in terms of options i think the robert's commons library is a lot better than the original robert's library but downside of this library is that there is nowhere for you to like eat or buy food that's all at the main library and the other thing is that it's quite small uh, as you guys saw i think each floor can hold up to around 250 people which is far less than the main library so yeah but other than that the new library looks amazing the aesthetic I, I personally like better than the original library so if you're ever at U of T uh, St. George campus I encourage you to visit the new library uh, as well as the obviously the main library uh, Robert's library as well so yeah I think that concludes my tour at the new library here at U of T St. George campus thank you for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next one